So it's a beautiful Sunday in Philadelphia today, and I've decided to come out to Fishtown to see if I can take some interviews, some walking interviews with some strangers about some philosophical questions. Um, I also brought along my cajon and some of these CDs that I'm trying to sell to see if I can convince these same answers that my music and artwork is worth investing in. I'm very curious, and I'm sure uh, we'll have an answer by the end of this. How are we doing? What is your name, my friend? I'm um, Kevin. Kevin. Kevin Tarab, nice to meet you. So the question I've been asking people is, what is one quality in someone that you respect that you wish you had yourself? Um, so before you, before we started recording, you asked me that I had to rack my brain about it because I really wanted to think about it because it's like, it's, I feel like it's easy to it's just say something like ambitious or, or empathetic or something along them lines like it's simple to say that and the more I thought about it, it would just be like if I had to take one from somebody it'd be emotional intelligence and I actually feel that way because I was raised on tough love like my father's extremely tough love person he's probably said I love you in my life maybe three times maybe that's not an exaggeration uh, it's funny because it, it, I bring that up based on the fact that like I remember one time when I first got sober, I got sober in 2010, I sent a long text message to my mom just saying like, yo, thank you, I appreciate everything you've done, this and that. And she wrote me back like all these emojis and said like, yeah, um, no need to thank me, I got my son back. And then I copy and pasted the same thing to my dad and I edited a tiny bit when I sent it to him. His exact response was two words, my man. That's it. <laughs> so that shows you the type of tough love that I was brought up on. Yeah. So when I point out emotional intelligence, it's more based upon the fact that like, I was so raised on this, like, we have two ways of thinking, like, happy and sad, or, like, 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 joyous and angry, like, they're the types mm, of, of, like, a binary angles, yeah, yeah, so, the, the older I got, and the, the longer I stayed sober, the more I started realizing, like, having emotions is totally fine, we live in a society where keeping it real, you know what I mean, is, like, so much more respected, in, in a way, than a guy that understands his own feelings and emotions, gotcha. right, so, like, even, even as I'm talking about this, you turn around and you think to yourself, like, I think to myself, like, damn, do I sound like a bitch? No. Like, you know what I mean? I, I understand that now, I'll tell you right that's now, how you my thought process like works. And then the more I start to realize that having emotional intelligence is such a good quality to have, I'm able to step back and see somebody else's problems or hear them and understand them. And even if I've never been through them, I can at least be way more empathetic about it and Word. understand them better. So. Word. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. That's uh, that's and and do you and what do you think is one step that you can take towards being becoming more emotionally intelligent? Well, like I said, I think a cop out, an easy cop out to say is like empathetic, but yeah. being more empathetic, I think, would definitely get you into becoming more emotionally intelligent. So you'd be able to understand other people's emotions mm -hmm. and start to have that sympathy and empathy for them. Right you know, just because you didn't go through them doesn't mean it doesn't hurt them. It just means that you might be a little bit stronger in that area. Right. So. We're, we're, we're mirrors, aren't we? Yeah, Strangely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, man. Much no, appreciated. I appreciate it. Thank you. And also, so what? what is your stall here? Oh, uh, every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm set up down here at Frankfurt and Belgrade. My Instagram's Oxy Bath and Cotton. It's all one word. O-X-Y-B-A-T-H-A-N-D-C-O-T-T-O-N. It's very long, but trust me, it's worth it. Anybody who hits me up and buys something off of this video, I'll give them 20% off too. Word. Thank you so much. doing so what's your name Hi, I'm Amelia Amelia mm -hmm. so Amelia what is one quality in people that you respect that you wish you had I wish that uh, I could be more selfless um, yeah. you want to elaborate on that at all yeah I, I mean I, I'm thinking about my mother um, it's Mother's Day mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, she has absolutely made everything on the line for me and my sister. Um, and I think I was raised with a lot of privilege, a lot of things I take for granted. Um, and I feel like as a result, I'm not as selfless as the people who raised me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, I think I, I'm working on it, but I, I really admire people who can 
completely give everything for their communities and, and their family and people around them. Um, okay. yeah. So what do you think is one thing you could do to get a little closer to, to achieving your goal? <laughs> I think it's, I mean, it's a daily kind of process, but um, paying it forward a little bit more, you know, um, even today, um, you know, I got a Got a free coffee, so <laughs> I nice. decided to give it away. <laughs> wow! To who? Uh, just a guy on the on the street who. You know, was, nice. Uh, yeah. Good hungry, stuff. You know. <laughs> oh, no, that's huge. Very yeah. nice. So, so you know, things like that, where I'm just like, I'm not losing anything by, you know. <laughs> yeah, by giving someone something else. Okay. Yeah. Word. Thank yeah. you. Course, do you, you. Um, do you want to tell me a little bit about the store or the people that are watching? Oh uh, yeah, we're we're uh, called Jinxed. Uh, we have four locations in Philadelphia. Uh, we sell we're a variety store. We sell mostly <coughs> vintage and antiques and collectibles. Um, some new merch too, but we try and just uh, keep it fresh. Bring new furniture in every week. Um, and it's a fun crowd on the weekends. It's definitely just like a nice place to peruse. No, I definitely enjoyed it. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. It's How okay. Are you? What is your name again? Uh, Connor. Connor? Yes. My name's Tarab. Nice to meet you. So what is one quality uh, of people that you respect that you wish you had? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Okay. Being forgiven or the ability to forgive? I can't forgive, but... You know, there's some people that are just like, I forgive you for anything that you do. And uh, in my case, it's just like, there's some things that I cannot forgive. Ah, so you wish you were more forgiving? More forgiving, yeah. Ah, interesting. And, uh, and what do you think is something that you can do in order to become more like that? I guess just to be more active and... Letting people know that you forgive them? Yes. That, okay, don't worry about it. Listen, I know something happened. I felt some sort of way. You felt some sort of way. Let's just look past it. Yeah. Something like that? Yes, yeah, something. But at the same time, the problem that I have is that you have to accept that sometimes you cannot forgive. So that's where, like, some people are just very cool and they're like, you know, whatever. And I don't have that. <laughs> Well, hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying because there's a lot of people in my life that I've had really hard time forgiving to the point where I've completely cut them off. Yeah, that's my and answer. That's why. <laughs> the, the thing is, I will, I will forgive. I will forgive, but I will never forget. Well, that is my thing. That, that's, I guess, right? where the, we're very similar. So there's, like, for instance, if it's with a friend or someone else, uh, I heard somewhere that the net of friendship is joy, mm -hmm. right? So that same joy that you shared with a friend once, if you give them that joy, you're providing a safety net for your friendship, even though you haven't forgotten whatever they've done. Mm -hmm. So that's one strategy. Another thing is um, a wise man once told me that <laughs> when, the only time you forgive is when you can't do shit about it. You forgive people because you have to. Yeah. Yes, you have to. You have to. Yeah. Don't forget. Wise people don't forget. No, because then they do it again. And that's the way All right, do. then maybe you didn't forgive them for a reason. Maybe you should go find someone else that can that can give you something better. That's just a reality, right? Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. So, uh, what is your name, love? My name is Ada. Ada, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, my name is Tarab. Uh, what is a quality of people that you respect that you wish you had? Um, and so 
so far working here has definitely helped with a lot of the issues I was facing before. So I think really taking that initiative has helped me find my happiness. So. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Um, well, I guess, uh, do you want to tell me a little bit about your store? So that, so that the people watching can be like, hey, can we go <laughs> yeah. check this place out? <laughs> yeah, CBD Kratom. So, um, if you don't have a med card, definitely check it out. Uh, you don't need one. So, if you want to get a good high, you can always come here. Um, if you have any, like, sleep issues, pain issues, really any issue, we can find you a cannabinoid that will help you with that. So, um, and we also have Kratom and Kratom drinks. So if you're looking for like an alcohol-free seltzer or something, like that's always great to carry around at a party and it will really, it's a good social lubricant, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, nice meeting you, yeah, thank, thank you so you much. So much. So what's your name, boss? Gabriel. Gabriel, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so what is one quality in people that you respect that you wish you had? Um, I wish I could form like an identity around something, like something that felt like a singular version of myself. Okay. Yeah. And what do you, who, what do you imagine that would look like in, in, uh, in a life? I'm not sure, but I saw like this estate sale recently where like a lady had collected like 3,000 dash hound ceramics. Okay. And I thought like people who can just like collect a lot of the exact same thing over and over again must feel like satisfied with that. Yeah. That must be pretty cool. So where do you think, uh, where do you think that comes from? Do you think that, like where? I mean, it might be like a need to like fill a hole with like material commodities stuff like that so it might not be super great but. okay well okay so i guess i guess i'll give the little piece of advice that i have yeah. which is really this lady had to form a habit yeah this um, lady just had to form the habit of fucking picking up whatever those things were all the time yeah um i think when it comes to forming an identity it, it, you need to set a goal and you know what you want yeah and when you set that goal every day you need to work towards it all right. Yeah. I swear to God, it's gonna make a fundamental difference. There's a there's a book called Atomic Habits by mm -hmm. James Clear. Yeah. That's fundamentally transformed my life and allowed me to have established or begin establishing identity. Gotcha. Um, cool. So, what do you think that you can do to start establishing your identity? I don't know. I don't really have like a lot of goals for the long run. So perhaps the whole thing feels short, anyways. You know. Well, you think you think you're gonna die early? Not like early, but like the idea of maybe setting up a singular goal feels like kind of silly and pointless sometimes. Why is that? Mm -hmm. It could change, you know what I mean? Unless you believe strongly enough in it. Yeah, maybe. Mm. But I also want to be open to change. I suppose that's true. Hmm. So, so I guess, I guess uh, maybe thinking about a goal might be might be a first step. Start right? manifesting something. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, try it out. Well, thank you so much yeah. for talking with me. Cool. Thanks for stopping by. So what have I discovered on my incursion of taking interviews of strangers and attempting to sell them my album? I've discovered that a lot of people want to be patient, more patient in this life. People want to be empathetic. People want to be stronger, have a stronger reserve for getting things done. And forgiveness. Actually, I just came across some forgiveness. Um, it seems we all have certain goals in our life and it's hard to find ways to achieve our goals without acknowledging those goals as a thing. So it's not, it's not just that you feel a certain type of way, it's that you tell yourself that you feel this way and that you want to do something about it. Food for fun.